Oh, school bus was honking at me. <sighs> I'm up early today. I'm driving. I woke up at like 6.30 and I went to bed after like around 2 almost. I'm dro I just dropped my nephews off at school. Both of my nephews. I have two and they're little bitty guys. So, <coughs> it's fucking cold today. <laughs> Excuse me. It is like cold today. I woke up and it's like blowing wind and it's fucking freezing. And I don't, I don't like this at all. It reminds me of Canada when it's like windy and cold, just freezing out. It just reminds me of Canada. Um, I'm gonna say, like, there are some sexy moms. I'm not a lesbian, but, like, if I see a girl, I might say, like, she's pretty, or she's a hot mom, or something, you know? Let me turn this damn heat off. They're hot. And, um, there's this lady in front of me. I don't know who she was. She was dropping her kid off. She, she was, like, big girl like really heavy set girl but pretty face had her hair all done dressed up tight ass leggings on nice cardigan you know i'm like some of these women just well put together like i hope when if i ever if i'm ever a mom or an adopted mom i hope i look good you know but i just hope i look like a hot mom but I just feel like I don't know. I don't even know if I want kids. I say I do, then I say I don't. Because I don't know for sure if I do. Because uh, I like to spoil myself, too. And I like to buy myself nice things. I like to sleep in. I like to have my time. So I don't know if that's considered selfish. If I, like take a lot of time for myself and kids do require a lot of attention and care so I don't even know for sure you know I don't know I'm not gonna regret if I don't but like sometimes just by taking my nephews to school or watching my nieces and nephews I'm like do I really want kids you know like, do I really want to do this? Because I love it. You know, I love to watch my nieces and nephews. I love them all very much. But I, I even, you know, it's nice when they go home. <laughs> I like when they can go home at the end of the day because them kids are bad. I don't know if having your own kid is a different energy. I feel like it would be. But... I'm just not in a hurry right now. I was like a week ago, and then this week I feel different, so. This could just be the hormones talking, you know? And I am so fucking tired today. And I hate these roads. Like, it's like these fucking roads are bumpy. I hate it. It's like. Somebody has to have money to fucking fix these roads instead of patching them up every time with a little bit of tar, which is horrible. Because it's like, fix the goddamn roads. Like, damn, like, put a line in the middle, you know? Like, make it like a paved road. Don't just fucking patch it up with tar. I mean, it looks stupid and then there's these big ass potholes that you can freaking hit and get killed like go off the road and flip your freaking car because there's horrible potholes in the road uh, make sure i'm obeying the speed limit i am so these perverted cops cannot stop me today i have much respect for police officers but I don't want to say anything bad about anyone, but there's like where I live, it's those of you that know me know, but maybe it's just me. 
there's a couple of police officers here that are freaking perverts. Like, there's this one guy when I'd be at work, he'd fucking follow me around. I don't even know his name. I just call him pervert because he like, I know when a guy's being like perverted. I know when a guy's flirting. I just play stupid. I just act like I don't fucking know. But I know that you're being a goddamn pervert to me. I know if you're trying to flirt with me. I know if you like me. Like, I, it's not hard to read. I've been, like, dealing with this shit for years. Since I was a little ass kid, I've been dealing with perverts my entire life. And I grew up without my dad, so I had to, like, figure a lot of things out on my own. And I kept a lot to myself. So, I figured this shit. I mastered it at knowing perverts. And... a nice ass car like that doing on this road anyway i this guy is a police officer who like a new cop and then like when he would come in he would act stupid and act like he didn't know like what was going on and i would just try to like you know avoid him but one night i kind of confronted him because there was something i wanted to know about like an incident that happened at work and he played dumb with me and said that they were busy knowing that they weren't busy doing shit. You know what I mean? Like, you hardly work. Like, I know you weren't busy. You was just, you purposely did not want to come over here and do your fucking job. So that pissed me off. And he's catching to follow me around. He always did this shit. He always followed me around work. And it would just fucking piss me off. Because I'm like, you're just an old ass pervert. And I know what you're doing. You're not getting any of this. Um... Slap you in the face, that's what I'll give you if you want and fucking arrest me and take you to jail. Cause I don't need that on my record. But this guy is a pervert. And one day he fucking pulled pulled us over because he said it is a state law. Your lights aren't on. Like we have the freaking lights on, they're just not coming on because this car is a piece of shit. So I thought he was going to give us a ticket, and he acted like he didn't see me in the car, but he saw me. And no, I was not flirting with this guy. I did not lead him on. I did not give him any reason to, like, flirt with me. I just didn't even smile at him. I just ignored him. And he takes it upon himself to be a pervert. So, yeah. I got my glasses on. I can see. I'm still having some adjustment issues with I better slow down because these police officers here they have nothing else to do and I know they probably get really really bored here with nothing to do so they'll pull you over for any and everything stupid I'm just fucking tired I just need to go home and go to sleep but I'm already awake for the day. I had my yogurt and my granola. Um, I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm a coffee addict. And I don't know, I'm just so, I don't even wanna go to work today. I just wanna stay home. Like, I just wanna stay home today. Um, I just, I don't know. Like, I just get sick and tired of the same routine every day. Like, I'm one of those people that, I need change, you know what I mean? I don't like things to be the same all the time. Shit, slow down, Leslie, before you get a goddamn ticket. Be paying money that you don't even have. I just need to, like, relax. And I'm also having, like, these fucking PMS symptoms. Like, I'm gonna talk about that in another video. Because I had some serious, serious issues with PMS. TMI. But I actually went to the hospital because it made me so sick and stuff. And it scared me. And it can be serious, you know. But I'm going to, like, make a separate video from this. And I'm going to talk about PMS symptoms. Like, some, some women don't know. Some women, young women, do not know. Like, it takes them a while to figure it out and to learn their body and figure the body out. So I'm going to make a video on that. And I'm going to, like, give you guys some tips and advice on, like how to ease symptoms and what to do when you're having PMS symptoms. Some worse than others. 
these damn roads where I live is fucking horrible. I'm just like, you guys fucking can fix this shit. I mean, we don't have to have big old fucking craters and dips in the damn road. Shit. Oh my god, there's this dog. I haven't seen him forever. He's, he's like... Ch- He's like barking at the car. If he chases me, I swear. He's like barking. Does he have rabies? He better not. I don't think I hit anything. He's like barking at the fucking wheels, dude. I would have put the radio station back on the country station. Uh, I don't listen to country music. Oh, I like this song. The BB Rexa song. There's so many fucking crackheads around here. Oh, he looks so tired. I'm gonna give him a snack. He's so cold. Oh. I'm gonna give him a little treat because most of these people around here don't even take care of their dogs. Like, they're just fucking horrible fucking people. Like, people that don't even deserve pets. It's like, you guys don't even deserve them. You guys shouldn't even have them. Fucking windy as shit out here. Find a dog so I can give him a snack or <laughs> treat, I should say. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, if you guys own dogs or cats, oh, look at my glasses. Look at this shit. It's so fucking cold outside. <laughs> Hi. So, I was gonna tell you this really quick because I don't even think a lot of people even watch these. These like vlog videos. I don't even think people oh, sit down. Go away. I'm nosy motherfucker. I don't even think a lot of people watch these videos. I mean, I do. Like, I have my own favorite YouTubers. People that I enjoy watching. People that I like. <coughs> and like I like watching vlogs. I like watching people, you know, like their everyday life and stuff. And anyway, what I was saying, the let me get to the fucking point. Um, I think that if you own a dog or a cat or anything and it's fucking cold outside, and you know, it's going to snow and you know, it's going to be cold. You need to take your fucking pet inside. Stop leaving your dogs outside. Like, it is possible to get a flea collar. It is possible to bathe your dogs in blue Dawn dish soap. To give them flea treatments, to give them a flea dip. It's not that hard, okay? If you can wash your own ass, you can wash your dog's ass too. Like, stop being lazy. And get your dog a big giant doggy bed. They're not that expensive, guys. They're pretty cheap, actually. You can find them cheap. And start putting your pets in the house when it's cold. Stop leaving them outside. It is like, to me, I feel like, to me, it's fucking inhumane. And I hate this when we leave our dogs chained up outside. And we leave them out there with, like, hay or something. It's like, that's not humane. Like, that is, like, the worst thing we can do as humans. And I've learned the hard way. And I still haven't come to terms and accepted that I used to have my dogs outside on the chain. 
it's not that hard to train them not to piss and shit in the house. Like, people that's dogs piss and shit in their houses is because they're lazy and they don't have patience. And they're just selfish ass people. And they just rather throw their dogs outside. If you're going to do that, you might as well not even fucking own one. Be ashamed of yourself. Don't even own a pet. Like, you might as well just, like, keep walking and just go off the face of the earth because you don't even deserve to be here. So, love your pets. Put them inside because it is winter time and it's fucking cold. Well, it's not winter time yet, but it will be. <sighs> so... I'm just so tired. Look at me. Like, I'm tired. Like, I have, I don't have makeup on today. Maybe just a little bit, but not a lot at all. And I'm just, like, probably going to go back to sleep for a little while. Then I have to get up and go to work. Because that's what adults do. We go to work. And we come home. And we go to work. And we come home. And that's all we fucking do. And... It just sucks to be an adult sometimes, but at the same time, it's a blessing. So, um, I'm going to do that PMS video for you guys. So I hope you guys stay tuned and watch and I hope you guys give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I am noticing that mo like most of my viewers are not even subscribed to my channel. Now, if you guys want me to put videos out or to talk about anything, you have to subscribe. Plus, I'm going to be doing some giveaways, and this time I'm for real, I'm going to do giveaways. So, some really good things are coming. So, if you want to be a part of that giveaway in 2020, you need to subscribe, okay? So, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm going to go to sleep now because I'm tired as hell. Look at my fucking eyes. Alright. Bye, guys.